Hello Fern and Lawton, I'm Nikki, I'm going to be your patina artist and together we're going to be creating a very unique um, moving on parade. You might have noticed something slightly different about this year. Yep, you got it, I'm not in your classroom, we're all in lockdown, so things are already a little bit unique. If you've seen the presentation, which I think is amazing, I'd love to have a toilet roll time machine, it would be fantastic you'll know that our, our theme this year is We're Making History, which also I think is a very apt theme because this is probably going to be a very historic um, moving on parade because it's going to be done virtually. We've been working really hard here at Patina Land uh, to create your parade because we know how important it is for you guys. Um, so we're going to be doing it virtually. By that I mean we're going to get you making little avatars which are representations of yourself. Um, don't get daunted by this, you can put as much work in as or as little as you want. You could start off, it's a, based on a toilet roll, so you could just do literally paint on a, or draw on a toilet roll. You could cut out cardboard and have your little avatar on a, a cardboard figure. You could scrunch up newspaper and have your cardboard uh, toilet roll little avatar like that. Or indeed you could make a little avatar puppet. Yay! <laughs> All of these things I'll be showing you how to make in a later video. But for now we need to find out what your theme is so we know what to decorate your avatars. So I have an envelope. This was chosen, the number was chosen by somebody from your school and inside, drumroll, is a dress. Okay, <laughs> we have a dress. <laughs> no sign of anything. So I think, ah, this opens up. So this is it. This is the moment. Again, drumroll. When you find out that you are doing... The Stone Age. Yes, I love the Stone Age. Love it. Absolutely love the Stone Age. It might have something to do with my obsession with um, bones, but I do love the Stone Age. So, we're doing the Stone Age, the earliest of ages. That is so good. And if you've seen the presentation, you'll know that uh, the Stone Age people were basically hunters and gatherers, weren't they? And, that's, and they wore clothes that... Uh, were fur and skins, animal fur and skins, that's what they wore. They did start, um, in the presentation it said that they did start to weave um, using bashed down plants like nettles and things, so there is, is a little bit of cloth in there but it's mostly sort of fur. Think of flint stones, that's what I think, as soon as I hear Stone Age I think of the flint stones, it's like Neolithic flint stones. So you could always, you don't have to just do a person, you could make a little flintstone-esque type um, little buggy that it can, your little avatar can sit in, you can set it scenes, you can make make a little fire because they had fire, they had weapons, they had basic weapons. They did a lot of cave drawings and that's what I would like to represent so I might have had a, a sort of stretched out skin with a drawing on it or something like that. You can do whatever you want. This is up to you. This is where your imagination comes into it. And I want you to draw out all your ideas. You can set your little Stone Age person in, in a scene. You can have it by itself. You can do whatever you want. Um, I'd, I'd love to see your drawings. And if you, when you've drawn them, if you get somebody to photograph them and send them to this, which is your unique... Uh, email that's where you need to send all your drawings so that I can look at them and if you've got any questions about anything as well send them here and I can hopefully answer them for you so what I need you to do now is think about Stone Age I so love the Stone Age it's gonna be so good I would be tempted to, because um, you're going to need to start collecting bits of materials as well as drawing. So you're going to need things, obviously you're going to need a toilet roll, which is the start of your thing. Um, with the Iron Age, I would be tempted to um, get things like um, moss, moss for the hair, or even sheep's wool for the hair. 
I'd even be tempted if I was going to make the puppet making it out of actual sticks and you can find them that got like little foot bits on and things like that so that's what I'll be doing but I'll be showing you how to do that later on. You need to think about um, how much time you want to do so whether you, if you just want to spend a little bit of time you could just make your avatar like that if you want to make it a little bit more exciting and a bit more usable you can make one like this it's entirely up to you but I do want to see them designed so send them to me they have to be in before the 12th of May um, and then I can look at them and then I can do my video on showing you how to create your own very own avatars these are all going to be like I say they'll all be in an exhibition at the end when we're in lockdown is over um, and if we're still in lockdown or we can't come together on the third then all the pictures of you and your avatar and it could be a little video of you walking along with your avatar or it could just be a picture of you holding your avatar you could even dress yourself up. There is um, various ways that you can make yourself into a, a, a Stone Age person as well. But they will be produced into one long parade. So if nothing else on the 3rd of July, we will have a virtual parade and it will be fantastic. And I know you guys are going to come up with the best Stone Age characters ever because I love Phil and Lord and I worked with you guys last year and we did Gangster Granny and you were all fantastic. So I'm looking forward to seeing all your fantastic designs. 12th of May, they need to be in, uh, in your, I'll show you it again, there it is. 12th of May, get your drawings to me. I will then do a video of how to make the avatars and then it's up to you guys. Happy making, happy creating. Looking forward to seeing all your ideas. Bye.